Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lick and Riff in which I would like to teach you the single most efficient way, the easiest way to create unique outside chords that are rich in texture and yet so easy to produce. It's such a simple formula that you probably stumbled upon it yourself, but you were thinking that you were making a mistake, so you corrected yourself. So I want to show you the, the formula first, before we even discuss why it works so well, okay? Okay, the way to create interesting, outside uh, rich and unique chords is this. Play A, okay? But instead of playing A major like this, play it like this. 5, 6, 7 on strings 2, 3, and 4, okay? 5, 6, 7 with the open A string. Now take this chord one fret down and play strings two to five again. This is a great, great chord. This is a great ending chord for a song, okay? Um, so you can move between the two. You can arpeggiate. You see, immediately, you get a really interesting chord. Now, I don't really care what this chord is, what this chord is named. I just care that it sounds beautiful. It's a beautiful, outside complex chord without doing anything. I'm just moving an A chord down. So it's basically A flat over A. Okay, it's just A flat over A. That's it. It's an augmented chord. It's, it's a sort of a, an augmented seventh chord, but I call it A flat over A, and you can do it with any chord, okay? Any chord. You can, um, you can take this A, okay? Five, five, six on strings one, two, and three. Okay, out of the, okay, out of the bar. Five, five, six. And you can take that down one fret with, with the open A string. This is also a terrific chord, okay? Because you have, the minor and the major seven. So it is a kind of an augmented chord. It's a minor major seven, including the flat five. Interesting, right? It's a really good chord. Now, um, you can experiment farther with this. Uh, you can do a minor with five, 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 and then do a flat over a. flavor. Now uh, let's take D over A. It has the same shape, but instead of 5, 6, 7, you're playing 10, 11, 12 on strings 2, 3, and 4 with A. This is D over A, and A is inside the D chord, so it's just a normal D chord. It's D over A. Take it down one fret, and you have D flat over A, which is a terrific chord. Okay? It's also a sort of an augmented chord. But it's 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 amazing. See, it's a great ending chord. Now. You can, um, you can take um, G and take that down, okay? But you'd need okay, uh, someone to play the G chord for you. Um, but you can also do it like this, okay? Let's try. You can do it like this, okay? And do it here. Okay, you can take the whole major chord, okay, of the bar. You can take the shape down one fret and leave the bass where it is. Okay? Now, this is too bassy. So let's do it here. Let's take E and then let's take it to E flat. See? That's the formula. 
Now you can do it with other chords as well, but this is the basic formula to take the major chord and then take it down, lower it down one fret, but leaving the bass where it is, okay? Or playing a major chord and, and just uh, taking the bass up one fret is the same thing, okay? Now, be, being an augmented chord, you can skip four frets every time. And then you get a kind of a chord solo out of it. But I'm not talking about chord solos. I'm just talking about interesting sounds. So I'm going to show you a different chord shape, a different chord sound. But first, again... Okay, you can solo, you can do it with E minor, okay, and when you do it with a minor chord, okay, this is a minor 7, okay, it's E minor 7, it's, um, it's 12 on strings 2, 3, and 4 with the E bass, okay, and then I take it down to 11, and I have 11, 11, 11 on strings 2, 3, and 4 with the E bass, and I get um, another sort of chord, okay. It's um, it's a more brilliant sort of chord instead of a sinister chord like the augmented one. Okay, now you can do it. You can do it here. Okay, you can take uh, the the same shape that we played before, but on strings one, two, and three, and see what you get. Okay, with A, with E. Okay. One fret down. Um, okay. You can do it with A minor seven on five 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 on strings two three and four. This is not the shape that I wanted to show you. I just wanted to show you an example with a minor chord. You see? You have B over A now. Okay, so. completely different style of chord okay and um, it's it's so easy that you tend to think that you're making a mistake the first time you you stumble upon this but it's not a mistake it's just another chord okay anything you play is musical there's no mistake in music no such thing okay so um, another shape that I particularly uh, uh, like um, is this It's, um, it's out of the E minor pentatonic. Now, it's uh, this. Basically, I, if the simplest way to approach this sound is by thinking of it as E sus4. So it's 10-9-9 um, it's nine nine on strings 2, 3, and 4. 10-9-9 okay? nine nine with the E bass. So you have okay? E sus4. If you take it to 9-9-9, nine nine nine, you get... So it's 10 on the second string. It's E sus4. Okay? Now I take it two frets down. Okay? This is still inside the scale. Okay, so. Okay? Sort of an 80s um, pop jazz sort of thing. And I also play it out. At three two two, which is A sus two, but uh, A sus four. It's A sus four, but with the E bass, it becomes E seven sus four. Okay, so you can take this two frets up. Now all this is inside the scale. If you took it outside, what I just showed you, and you take it one fret down, okay? Instead of 1099, you take it to 988, and then take it two frets down, okay? You get an outside sound. You get a more complex chord. Effortless, just one fret apart. Isn't that beautiful? And then. If you take 544 four down to 433, three, you get this amazing chord. And you can just 
toy around with this. You can take it one fret up. You can do it on five. You can do it on one. It's practically endless. It's just a matter of the connotation. It's just a matter of the phrase that you want to create. To, uh, I want to say enact and I want to say create, so I got create. Uh, so um, you, okay? you just take it outside at the end of the line. the chord you get you can take it all over the place So, you see, such a simple formula and you can get such amazing results. And those are just three shapes, just three shapes. Imagine what you get when you try different shapes. So go try it, but subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, okay? Hundreds of free, uh, of free uh, lessons here on the channel, so subscribe. And um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.